there's just so many sick people. Yeah, no, it's nuts. It's so cold. We're gonna be okay. Can we get some help here? Barbara, this guy needs looking after. Right, we'll do, but you get back in my I'm fine. Thing. Well, his temperature is down to 99. Well, then you're the only one, because everybody else is getting worse. This guy is here because of you. You and your ridiculous chimpanzee. Did it ever occur to you there are reasons for animal quarantine laws? I don't need you to tell me the perils of breaking the law. Luke, this illness, everyone here, that's your fault. If anything happens to this guy or anyone else here, that is on you. And it's not your fault, Uncle Luke. There's no way you could have known that chimp was sick. I can't figure this out. I'm on this South Sea Island. I wake up. The whole village is in flames, all the people are gone. The only living thing is the poor little chimp. He's scared to death, so I bring him home. It's the last time I show compassion. And then Robert Scorpio shows up like five minutes later, as if to say, hey, we're the government, and we know what's going to happen before it happens. Here we go, the Paranoia Express. Dude, an entire village disappeared. And now we've got this raging epidemic. You, you stumbled onto something bad. Oh, what movie is it this time, Dylan? I mean, government conspiracies, secret agents, uh, exotic diseases taking out entire towns. I don't think this is a movie. The chimp was not from the Markham Islands. Yes, which means somebody went through the trouble to put him there. What if they infected the chimp on purpose? You know, so they could, they could study the disease in a controlled environment, see how fast it spreads, how lethal it is, and they pick some, some little unknown village on a, on a tropical island in a third world country, and and they just let it loose, like a biological bomb. And then after they get their test results, they destroy the evidence. Only the thing is, they didn't count on Dr. Von Sch Schemer, Mom. What, you showing up and stealing their monkey. You know, I like a good conspiracy theory as much as the next guy. And I'm in awe of your imagination, young Spielberg. But... Even for me, this is a little over the top. Fine, then, then you give me another reason why Robert Scorpio chose this time, of all times, to come back to life. Now, until we find the source or an antidote, the best thing is to keep the patients quarantined in the hospital for the citizens of Port Charles. Under whose authority? The Medical Rescue Agency and the City Council of this great town. Who will be making the decisions here? Let's just stay focused on the immediate problem. Now, this man is patient zero. His name is Luke Spencer, and if you've had any contact with him in the last 24 hours, you should seek medical attention. I think if we all cooperate here, we can most definitely get through this thing. Now, this particular strain is highly contagious and it spreads quickly. If you're suffering headaches, dizzy spells, or feel disorientated in any way, seek medical attention immediately and stay away from anybody outside of this hospital. If you're not sick, stay away from the hospital. If you come here to visit people, you will be turned away for your own safety. The object here is not to panic, because we just plain want to save lives. The chimp isn't infected. He's not the carrier. Let's go to Luke. I want you to find Luke Spencer and put him into isolation. Wait in the coffee shop. Yeah, great. That's great. For how long? Two days? Two weeks? What, Dylan, you know? we've all been exposed to the virus. They can't just let us go home. Yeah, well, you know what? I can name about four movies that start out this way and they don't end well. Look, could you stop with the movie references? Lulu's in bad shape, and I don't want to hear that it's hopeless. I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry. I just, I get, you know, worried and I ramble and... I shouldn't have jumped all over you. I just wish I could do something. Me too. You know, it's really horrible that Lulu's waited her entire life to get noticed by her father, and when she finally does, he brings home this contagious virus. But you blame Luke for bringing this epidemic? I don't blame anybody. I'm just scared. So many people we love and care about work in this hospital. Your mom, your dad, um, Elizabeth, Robin, and Maxie decided that she's Florence Nightingale. What happened to Lulu could happen to anybody. And all we can do is sit in this coffee shop and wait. You know, I appreciate all this attention you guys are giving me and everything, but I feel a lot better. In fact, I could go home. You could give this bed to somebody. Ow! 
Hey! Sit quietly, Mr. Spencer. Dr. Scorpio's on her way. Well, then she can tell you. What, what are you doing? Hey, what the hell is this? What the, what's going on? I'm sorry, Luke. And so you don't leave. Well, it's kind of kinky, and it might be fun if I were in the mood. But... The chimp came up clean, didn't he? I'm afraid so. Alcazar was right. It was me. I brought this in on everybody. How's she doing? She was awake and coherent for a few minutes, and now she's falling back to sleep, and her temperature is not going down. Is that normal? Well, we don't know enough about this virus to know what normal is yet. God, there are so many patients. I don't know how we can treat them all. And I feel like I should be down in the ER helping out with triage, but I just, I don't want to leave her. Tell you what, I'm going to assign you to her case. All right, you're still going to have to circulate, but I want you to spend 15 minutes out of every hour checking in on her, okay? okay. And if her temperature keeps rising, then... Uh, I want you to contact me directly. Okay, I understand. You know you're doing an excellent job, Elizabeth. Uh, uh, not really. I tried to sneak out of half hour ago to find Lucky. Just because you're on staff doesn't mean that you're not human. The point is, you're here, you're doing your job. That's all they can ask of us. Thank you, Dr. Jones. Good work, Nurse Spencer. Mm -hmm. Dad, do you have a minute? Lucas, what are you doing up in here? Why aren't you in the isolation area in the coffee shop? I had to see you. I mean, I know that you're busy, but it'll only take a minute. Are you are you worried that you caught the infection? No, I'm I'm fine. Look, it's obvious I've been exposed. I was with Lulu in the ER. Anyway, she was sick and she was delirious and she was talking about her dad and uh, and asking why he didn't love her. And I, I know Lulu, she wouldn't say something like that if she was in her right mind. So, if, if I get sick and, and become delusional and start blurting things out, I, uh, I thought that you would deserve to hear this from me. Dad, I'm, I'm gay. What do we got? Spencer's test results. Specifically, what am I looking for here? Luke is producing the antibodies that fight the disease. So Luke has it. Yeah. Wouldn't you know it? <laughs> now, one of us has to ask you to do the unselfish thing. Do you want to draw straws? You know, I, I realize that this is neither the time or the place that either of us would have chosen for this, but um, I'm glad you told me. Do you mean that? Do you think I'd have a problem with it? I don't know, Mom did. I didn't plan to tell her and not you. It's just some stuff happened when you were out of town and and it all blew up and she found out that I was gay and I just assumed... Lucas. She wasn't okay with it. I, I, I assumed that you wouldn't be either. And... Mom loves you just as much as I do. She just found out you were gay and she had to revise her expectations. But um, she just wants you to be happy. That's all I want for you. I'm sorry. I should have, uh, I should have been honest with you before. I, 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 I should have trusted you. You told me when you were ready, and I know it wasn't easy. Lucas, I have loved you all your life. I am so proud to be your father. <laughs> Oh, 
No, do your dad a favor, all right? Go to the isolation area so I know you're safe. Is that cool? <laughs>